Um, so Tyree is the voice to the voiceless. You know, as we go through life, we go through many, you know, um, hurts, pains, trials and tribulations. Um, you know, Tyree's just able to come out and just vocalize his opinions. Um, you know, entertainment's always been a way to do that. And Tyree, he embodies that, you know, through just being who he is. So um, he's also a philanthropist. He is an entrepreneur. Um, he is an entertainer. And, um, you know, he just loves to give back. So that's who Tyree is. So, I don't know if y'all know, but back in 1997, Whitney Houston did a huge, huge HBO special at Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C. I thought that to be the most amazing thing, because anyone that knows me knows that I am a huge Whitney Houston fan. Um, and so, I just really wanted to give homage to older artists. I just wanted to be able to show my love and my appreciation for music and my diversity. And I'm hoping that I'm able to share with you the same thing that got me through when I was going through what I was going through, which is music. So that's the reason why I did the cover sessions. Music bed. So you most definitely can see um, during the session, you know, um, Tyree as a multifaceted artist. You know, I am very, 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 very multi-talented. Most of my family members are multi-talented. It just runs in my family. So you're going to be able to see how I'm able to thrive amongst di very different spectrums. You're going to hear a little bit of classic rock. You're going to hear some um, classical music, stage type type music. You're going to hear some R&B. You know, you're gonna hear a little bit of 80s ballads, you know, that's just pretty much what you're gonna see. And you're gonna see that I have a love for music and I know that music has the power to heal. And um, that's what you're gonna see during this cover session. The way that I would describe Tyree's sound is I have a mixture of many elements. Um, I was raised by my grandparents, so I have a lot of old school elements. Um, they brought me up in the church in the fear of the Lord. Um, so you're going to most definitely hear that through a lot of my music. But on the other side, you know, I was exposed to R&B. Um, you know, I was exposed to a lot of new school things. So you're going to hear bits and pieces of it all, you know. And like I said, I am the voice to the voiceless, so I'm going to fit in where I can get in so that I can reach all spectrums. So that's pretty much, you know, what my sound comprises of. So that's a good question. My favorite, favorite of all time, as I said before, is Whitney Houston. There will be never be another. I don't care what nobody say about her, whatever. She was royalty and she should be treated as short, such and remembered as such. Um, new school, I like Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is really, really, really good. She's really good. She's really musical. I like musical artists. So old school artists, hands down, is Luther Vandross. I mean, he, Luther just has those skills that any artist today can take note of. I mean, the softness, the pureness, the riffs, the runs. I mean, that's just no one else that can compare. New school, I would most definitely have to say Daniel Caesar. I mean, he most definitely embodies old school elements and meets a lot of new school elements. So old school meets new school, which is something I aspire to do every day. I would have to say it was when I was four years old. Um, again, like I said, I was primarily raised by my grandparents. And my grandmother was a huge Tina Turner fan. And we had the 1996 movie, What's Love Got To Do With It? Yeah, I know I was too young to be watching it, but I was watching it anyway. And every time the song Crazy Fool in Love came on, I just would hop up. I was nothing more than four years old. I would hop up on the bed and I would have to sing it. My parents even talk about that today. They talk about how I got up and you know and it just it was just amazing they said look we should have had a camera because we most definitely could put you on America's Funniest Videos so that's what I knew I wanted to do it the advice I would give to any new aspiring artist 
um, is to just persevere. Keep going. Keep pushing. You're going to have a lot of things that are going to come up against you. And the crazy part about this industry is there's no blueprint. There's no set path like a doctor or anything. You just got to get out here and make it happen. Let people know that you're out here. Um, if I was you, I would take a chainsaw to conventions. I wouldn't wait on anybody. I would create my own platform, which is much of what I'm doing right now before you. So, yeah, take a chainsaw and persevere. Music if I was anything to my firstborn, it would most definitely be my perseverance. I mean, I've been through numerous things from being homeless, from having to not having. I mean, so many different things. Um, and my perseverance has most definitely guided me through. Nothing has come to me easy in this life. So if I was to leave anything with my first part, it would most definitely be perseverance because my first part is most definitely going to be. Just plain injustice. I cannot stand injustice. These riots, this police brutality, uh, racism, you know, it is, it's, I just can't stand plain injustice. And really, I really want to get out there and I just want to do as much as I can to speak my voice, protest, and be able to help as many people as I can. Um, I also hate that, you know, the black community does not support the LGBTQ community. I mean, how can you say that black lives are matter and you do not include a small select group of people that's a very valuable sect to your community? I mean, it's just completely hypocritical because when they're killing us, they're not caring that you have a disability. They don't care that you're LGBTQ or that you're black, that you're a man or that you're a woman. You know, all they see is just your color. So, um, you know, we most definitely have to get out of that. So that's what really grinds my gears. Music bed. So what do I like to do on a hot summer day? Um, so on a hot summer day, you know, I just like to go and get me an icy. Um, I like to travel around if I can travel to different states because I just love scenery, scenery, scenery. Um, I also like to go to where there's water, you know, anywhere like the beach or like a pool or you know, somewhere like that. And of course, you know, looking at my parents, I love to shop. You know, you can, never can go wrong with that though. That's what I like to do on a hot summer day. Well, my favorite color is red because if you're not red, red, then you're dead. Simple point and blank. <laughs> But more than that, I mean, it's just a daring color. I mean, red has so many meanings, such as, you know, the blood of Jesus Christ, you know, or just blood itself, or love, you know, a rose is red. I mean, there's a lot of beauty, and it. it's just a daring, daring color, and I just love it because I'm a daring person. Music bed. My favorite food genre, hands down, is soul food. I mean, the neck bones, collard greens, black eyed peas, fried chicken, you better put it on me. And I know that that high cholesterol, diabetes, and everything gonna be in there too. So that's my favorite food genre. So if I had one place in the world that I wanted to travel to, it would most definitely be France. Um, I took French in high school and in college, and I just love the language. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful language. Um, the French people are known as love people, and the French language is known as the love language. So I would love to go and visit the Eiffel Tower and just see if, you know, if that's really true. So that's where I would go. Well, you most definitely can expect to see, um, you know, a lot of music, um, you know, some acting, um, some entrepreneurship type things. Um, and you most definitely can see me doing a lot of um, outreach, um, hopefully in the community. Um, I have a lot of plans and a lot of things I want to do. This, you know, this music thing is not the only thing. You know, I, like I said, I'm very multifaceted and this is what I want to do. So um, stay tuned.